Namaste. Welcome to class. And today I just want to look at a few standing asanas with you using blocks for modifications. So um, we're going to look at just a few postures that are used quite a lot that can easily be improved in their alignment and the benefits you gain um, by using blocks. So coming to standing. We're going to step back into um, our triangle pose. So if I just bring my right leg up, my hands are on my hips, and I step about four feet away, I'm going to turn my foot to 90 and check that my heel arch is in line with my front heel. My hips want to be facing the front right now. So with this asana, the ultimate aim is they want you to grab your big toe and be folded to the side and have the shoulders in one line. Um, a lot of people in class when they go to do this, they go, okay, I had to go get my big toe, so they come down this way. Now, as you can see, my back is not where it should be. It's meant to be flat as if it's against the wall. And doing that bend and twisting means that my hips are out of line as well. So quite simply, taking a block and placing it inside your foot can really help you stay in the right position and get the full benefits of this asana. So if we raise our hands up and then just start tipping, I can keep my spine super straight and meet the block. And again, because these blocks are just so great, you change the height until you're where you need to be. So I can feel my hip coming forward there. So actually, there's much better, because otherwise I'm not working the right muscles. And looking down, and then coming back. And remember, every day, your body is different. So today, I wanted my block here for me to be doing this asana properly. Another day, I might need it on the higher height. And on another day, I might not need it at all. So that's a really nice, simple way of modifying your triangle pose. So then I'm just going to step my back leg in. So it's a little bit closer. And my back foot is at 45. My heels are pretty much in one line. And I'm going to square my hips to the direction of my front toe. So from here, I'm going to look at a twist again. So actually the block could be either side of my foot depending on my body and where I am personally at. So if you take your left hand to your left hip and raise your right hand up, the ultimate aim is to come forward and take the hand outside of the left foot and then twist. Now if you can't get there, you can stay on the one side. So you, if staying on the inside is better for you, you stay on the inside and then you can twist. If you can reach over without causing yourself discomfort, take the block over and then twist. If the elbow doesn't come up, you shouldn't be raising your hand. And then coming back out, look down and then come back up to standing. So. One other little position um, that you'll often get in a standing sequence that can really be supported by blocks is our half moon balance. So I'm just going to place this block a little bit in front of my front foot, maybe even slightly further. Okay, so when you're coming down for this asana, you should be aiming for your hand on the mat about a foot in front of your foot. Then you'd be straightening the front leg and then opening the back leg out, opening the arm up and looking up. So if we have the block, it's gonna help us with our stability and our reach with this asana if we're not ready for our hand on the mat yet. So taking the gaze down to the block, take your hand and start lifting the back leg up and then opening the hip out, opening the shoulder out, opening the chest out, 
Try and get the shoulders in one line and take the gaze up to the top hand. And then coming back to standing. So it's just a couple of quick, quick fixes, quick modifications with blocks that can really support and help your alignment so that you get the maximum benefit and that you're safe. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time on the mat.